Okay guys, this is part three in uh, the series on what's available in my locality at some of the shops. Here's an interesting sign. I haven't seen this one. Due to high demand, we have introduced a temporary limit on certain products. Here's where we're at. Alright. Again, I will probably have to aim the camera at the floor to prevent from getting customers and other people in the um, video. Alright, so first thing, we go this way. And I'm getting a couple of packets of these. So. For my American friends, this shop is a um, DIY center. It's kind of like um, Lowe's in America. You can see the social distancing marks on the floors here too, it looks like. All right, there's nobody down that way, so I'll just, I'll show you a long shot here. There's nobody here, so I'll show you this. So things are looking pretty good. Now, my other half is going the opposite direction, so I'm gonna go this way and follow him. Let's see, is there anybody here? Nope, okay, so there's that aisle. So it's, you know, it's looking pretty normal here so far. Power tools and stuff like that are still stocked. Mind you, I can tell you already, they're not gonna have any masks of any kind because uh yeah we we went looking for masks here oh probably a month and a half ago and they were already thin on it because of the um the forest fires so yeah they've been impacted by that and then this whole virus thing comes on top of it this is um this is again just normal stock nothing Nothing different here. I'm interested in seeing the cleaning aisle. They've got a new lights display. We might go look at that just because it's pretty. Let's go have a look. So far, so good. There's nobody sort of popping up here. So here we go. Here's the lights display. Looks kind of fun. Colorful. <laughs> Usually they have stuff like this. Oh, oh, there's a camera thing. We don't want to step in front of that. Oh, that's pretty. Just walk over and look at that. Oh, light tiles. <laughs> oh, they've got a machine playing music over there. I don't know if I'll be allowed to... put this video on YouTube because of all the music that's everywhere. That's okay. I'll go ahead and I'll go to the cleaning section because that was my biggest concern. Because there are some things that I want. Again, I'm having to aim the camera at the floor. I'm sorry, guys. Um, there's quite a few people here. Go to the gardening section. The gardening section should be interesting too. Here we go. All right, this part of the gardening section looks pretty normal. Plenty of stock, nothing crazy. Oh, and the gloves. I know that some places have a run on gloves, but you know, if you look, if you look, there's plenty, plenty of gloves. And uh, yeah, plenty of, um, what do you what do you guys call those? The rain rain boots? Oh Willies. Willies. That's right. Willies. That term had left me for half a minute. Oh oh, more socks. Oh my goodness, I need some more socks. I always get my socks from these guys. Massive packs of batteries. Those are good batteries, by the way, guys. I can tell you that now. Um, 
I don't see triple A though. We've got double A, but I don't see triple A. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Triple A's. Triple A is something that we need. So we'll grab that. I don't think there was any vinegar at the um, grocery store, was there? I didn't see it. Wow. This is kind of deep, eh? Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, hey. Do you want? Yeah, we'll go ahead and just, we'll grab one. All cleaning products are in high demand. Oh, well, four of each. Okay, well, that's not bad, you know. That's fine. There's somebody wanting through this aisle, I think, so I might have to aim the camera down here in a minute. Yeah, there's plenty, plenty of cleaning products still. Now, normally they have a, um, uh, what is it? It's a, a disinfecting spray, but, um, sorry guys. Sorry. No, that's fine, that's fine. Um, but yeah, their disinfecting spray uh, seems to be out. It's been out for, what, a month and a half or something? Uh -huh. But other than that, it looks pretty normal in this aisle. So we'll just pop over here and see. There's some buckets. Plenty of buckets. Oh, there's... There's some cute little five liter pails. I wish they were a little bit more affordable. Oh, those would be perfect. Cause I'm wanting some little pails. I don't want anything massive. So I will think about this. And of course there's plenty of stuff down here. Bin cleaners and whatnot. Oh. Um, I'll have to let my husband get that because that's too high up for me. Here you get that. Sorry, I know it's another shot of the floor, but there's people all over the place here. Yeah, yeah this section is looking pretty normal. Nothing crazy. Um, is there anybody in front of me? No, there's not right now. This is another cleaning aisle. Plenty of cleaning tools, and plenty of rubbish bins. So, yeah, all in all, really? Again, normal. Just normal. So this is good. This is good. I was kind of worried that people would do a, a panic rush on all of this. I'm glad to see that they didn't. That's wonderful news. Okay, the next curious spot is gonna be solar lights. I am keen on looking at that. Okay, let's go guys. We're looking at the floor again. So here we go. Two the solars we go. They're having a few laughs back there. <laughs> oh, what's this? This looks interesting. Oh, no. That's not as interesting as I thought it was. Okay, well, dolphin torches. There's still plenty of those. Sorry, I know that's a brand name, but that's how I know them. That's Arlick brand over there, by the way. Um, yeah, this section is looking pretty normal for lighting. Nothing crazy here either. Little $2 solars. Yeah, normal. That is good to see as well. People around here love their solar lights. 
It's a big thing. I'm just gonna aim this at the floor for now until I know. Yep, all is well. So yeah, yeah, all is well. There hasn't been a run on solid lights of any kind. That is cool. Okay, let's go to the let's go to the gardening section because that was another place of concern. Oh, torches, torch oil. There's plenty there. All right, so let's go and let's see if torch oil is still available. Well, there's plenty of candles. That's another good sign. That's good. Plenty of wicks. Yeah, plenty of oil. And the usual stock of torches. That's great. Oh, that's beautiful. That's wonderful. Okay, okay, here we go. Plants. Now, I don't expect anything out of the ordinary down here. I expect everything to be the same as per usual. Whoops. Don't want to get anybody in the shot. Yeah, things are looking... Things are looking a little bit thin. That's weird. So, normally there's a lot more plant life here. Um, these... These one, two, three, four racks here normally have plants on them. Tons of plants. But, uh, hey, there's cat mint. Oh, I wonder if it would take this time. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> A bit dusty. So I might grab one cat mint and we'll. We'll put it out in the garden. Let's see how it goes. Peppers and rosemary and whatnot. There's one of our friends over there. They're doing some some shopping. So I'll just say hello to them. Hey. Uh, oh. Hey, there you go. You good. Oh, mm. So, yeah, pretty normal. Now this set of shelves, don't get me wrong, they're normally empty anyway. Um, yeah, no changes. It's all, it's all the same. So I'm going to let you guys go. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this has been a little bit comforting to some of you who have been worrying about, you know, stocks going thin. Oh, and look, there's plenty, plenty of these little guys. That's always promising, too. You know, people, people aren't panicking here. It's, it's really relaxed. It's good to see. Um, I was worried when I was at the grocery store earlier, but, yeah, looking at this, it's all... It's all looking good, so that's wonderful. So I'm going to catch up with my husband, see what he's done, and um, talk to him. You guys have a great rest of the day, and uh, I'll catch you another time. Cheers. <laughs>